your left knee. Again, you can just bend the knee, reaching back forward, perfectly fine. We all start at different spots. If you can get the foot, you get the foot. Bring your knees together, pull the belly tight, stand tall. If you're not holding the wall, the right arm will extend up. Shoulder blade down, chin is off the chest. Palm is forward, your fingers are touching. I want you to have energetic connection so that you can feel the energy move from the heel to your fingertips. You are lifted out of your waistline to the tallest version you can be. And your toes are on the mat, they're just not death gripping the mat. And you have equal weight in the ball and the heel. So your weight isn't forward or back, it's nice and even on the foot. Belly is in, tailbone is long, and you're breathing for three, two, one. And release, bring your big toes to touch. Inhale, arms up, palms press, heart lifts. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands, and let's come down to a tabletop position. We're gonna go into our hip work here. So bring your right foot to your right thumb. If it's too much pressure on that back knee, you can extend through the back leg or you could put more padding underneath there. The fingertips are on the floor, start to walk that right leg out in front of you. Try to keep your hips stacked, so don't shift your hips. Keep them nice and stacked as you rotate you extend the leg forward. Point the toe, be up on the heel, whatever works for you. And I want you to lift your chest a minute, extend through the spine, and then bend your elbows and drop the head down. This is our half split position. If you have a full split in your practice, please feel free to do that. Now lift the chest a little. Bring your foot back just a little bit and then plant your foot. Bend your knee and get your knee directly over that ankle. So you have a 90 degree angle here. Press the hips forward and lift the chest. You can stay here. If your pelvis says this is where you need to be, you stay here. You wanna go a little deeper, the hands can come to the thighs. Shoulders down the back. You wanna go even further, the arms can come up. The palms will press and we'll take a little anjane back bend here. And then release the hands down. Shift your hips back, bring the right leg back, and the left foot beside the left thumb. And we start to walk the left leg out nice and long. Again, we're watching our hips, so our hips don't shift. We keep them square to the front here. Extend through the toe or beyond the heel. Lift your heart and then drop the forehead down a little. Breathe. Do you feel this stretch up the back of the leg? Lift the chest. Bring the foot back just a little bit. Plant the foot and bend into your knee. So again, 90 degree angle, really check it out. You want to take the time to get into your poses. You want your knee directly over your heel, the foot flat, and the far hip, the right hip pressing away. So if you start to press away and your knee goes forward, move the foot out a little bit. So if you stay here on the first side, please do so on this side. If you brought the hands to the thigh, do that. Belly in. If you brought them overhead for that back bend, Press the palms and lift the heart. Three, two, and one. Hands down. Bring that foot back. Let's go ahead and find child's pose for a moment. Big toes touch, heels press back, and we'll extend those arms out for just a brief moment. Quiet in the mind. Take a deep breath in, sigh it out, then slowly rise back up. Bring your legs around front, 
so we can do some stretching. We'll start with the right leg crossing in front of the left. This is easy sitting pose. If you like to do half lotus, you can cross that right leg on top of the left. Either one will work. Sit up tall. Inhale the arms up. Exhale forward fold. Reach for the floor in front of you. Relax the shoulders, relax the jaw. Breathe. And slowly rise up. Please keep your legs where they're at. Inhale the arms up. The right hand comes to the outside of the left thigh. The left hand is gonna come behind you. Try to get the heel of the hand down. Lift the heart and start to twist. Press into the leg, press into the chair. Oh, sorry, the floor. Three, two, one. You can tell I teach chair classes too. Let's switch those legs out. Crossing the opposite leg in front or on top, depending on which one works for you. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, we fold out over. Pull the belly tight, kind of go with a flat back so you could reach the edge of your mat one day. Relax the head, breathe. Slowly come up, those legs stay there. We have to take the other twist. Inhale the arms up. Left hand to the outside of the right thigh. Right hand behind you, heel the hand down. Extend through the spine as you start to twist. Press into the leg, press into the floor for three, two, and one. Release the legs and bring the soles of the feet together. So you're making a diamond shape with your legs. If you can, I want you to interlace your fingers around your toes. If that's not happening, just place the hands on the outsides of the legs. So think flat back. So lift the sternum, shoulders down, belly in, take a breath, and then slowly start to fold. And you're trying to press your chest towards your feet hips towards the back of the wall. Hollow out the belly. Breathe. You can't go any further than you lay your head down. Slowly rise up. Coming on to the back. Place your feet flat on the floor with your hip heels as close to your hips as you can get them with your feet about hips width distance apart. Hands are at your side, palms are down. Chin is off the chest. Ground the feet, firm the thighs, engage your abs as you inhale, lift your hips. So we're gonna try to press the hips as high as we can get them. My super bendies, Maybe interlace your hands behind your low back, rolling your shoulders underneath you a little bit, or maybe even reach for your heels, whatever works for you. But I want everyone to make sure your feet are grounded, so equal weight on all sides of the feet. And the toes and knees are forward. You're not letting them rotate or fall in or out. The glutes are relaxed. The thighs are firm though as you lift a little higher. Three, two, and one. Slowly come down. And extend your right ankle over your left thigh. As if you're making the number four here. Lift that left leg and you can grab anywhere you would like and start to pull that leg into you. Feeling that in the pelvis, breathing. Slowly release it and we'll switch sides so the right foot goes flat. The left ankle crosses over the right thigh. The right foot lifts 
and whichever way makes sense to your body, you start to pull that leg in. And you're breathing. And slowly release. Place your feet flat on your mat and open them wide so the feet are on the edges of your mat. Arms out in cactus arms. Drop both knees to the right as you look to the left. Breathe. If you want a deeper stretch, the right foot will come onto the outside of the left leg and then let both knees fall to the right again. Slowly release, please reposition your feet wide on the mat. Then drop both knees to the left as you look to the right. So if you took that deeper stretch, that left foot will now come onto the outside of the right leg and let the knees fall to the left. Coming back to center, bring both knees into your chest. Give yourself a little hug here. You can either rock side to side or front to back or move the hips in a figure eight. And then extend the heels to the ceiling. Heels directly over the hips, arms are by your side, palms are down. Take a moment here, breathe. And then as you exhale, slowly lower those heels to the mat. When your heels hit the mat, open your feet the width of the mat. Let the toes, knees, and hips fall out. Roll the shoulders down the back, turn the palms to the ceiling. Close your eyes. Relax the muscles of your face, relax your jaw. And just simply begin to refocus back on that breath in and out through the nose. Slow, deep, rich, full breath. And there's nothing left to do here but breathe. So try not to think, try not to fidget, just let go. Take one more deep breath in. Sigh it out. Shavasana. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Sigh it out. Now it is always my honor and privilege to guide you through this class. 
The light in me honors the light in each and every one of you. Namaste.